Hi everybody, I'm Angel and I'm a yummy vegan. And I wanted to come back on today and talk about born only to die. In a vegan documentary I watched recently, this was one of the phrases, one of the sentences that was pronounced by one of the actors, characters in the documentary expressing how animals in the animal factory farm industry and the slaughterhouses, they are born only to die. And that was very shocking and very jarring. And yes, I know that they are bred to be fed to humans in the standard diet and lifestyle. However, to hear it phrased in that manner, in those words, very stark, very raw and real. No adjectives, no adverbs, no extra words to cover it up. Only the plain and simple facts that these animals are born to die. And I would say, and I do say, that it doesn't have to be that way. That we, in society, can reduce the demand for these animal products by ditching the standard diet and switching to a vegan diet and lifestyle, thereby eliminating, reducing the suffering and cruelty and the demand for these animal products. Food, drinks, clothing, furnishing, skincare, beauty care, etc. They're all tied to this cruel reality that animals are born to die in these slaughterhouses, in these factory farms. And so we all have a role to play. Every purchase we make, every decision we make practically is related to whether our beautiful animals, our non-human animals continue to be born to die. And so I've also spoken about the suffering of our human animals in these abattoirs, slaughterhouses, factory farms, where the employees are also suffering tremendously from the psychological damage of having to inflict such suffering upon our beautiful non-human animals. After all, we as humans are very compassionate by nature, and many employees are undergoing some emotional transformations in order to be able to carry out these horrendous, cruel acts that they are inflicting upon our beautiful non-human animals and as a byproduct upon themselves. So we have the power to get rid of that expression that they are born to die. We can do something about it. We can reduce the demand for the breeding and feeding of these beautiful non-human animals to the human species. So I would super love to hear your thoughts about they are born to die. And I hope you're doing great. And until we see each other again, take good care and bon appétit and bon voyage.